Dear Mary, it's 10 a.m. and I'm writing you sitting at the breakfast table. We reached Liège yesterday afternoon. It's quite easy to reach the city by motorway. And just as simple by rail or air. By car, you have to travel through the upper parts of the city from where you can see Liège is located at the bottom of a basin surrounded by hills. Several church steeples are visible from that height and not blocked by the numerous buildings. I am enjoying my coffee in one of the many places that offer a wide choice of pastries from early morning. Liège appreciates fine eating and drinking. There are many cafes and terraces full of incredible, hospitable, warm and friendly people of this city. I wanted to eat a fricassee made with two fried eggs accompanied with a slice of bacon or a slice of bread and syrup. The syrup here is not runny, but more like molasses made from apples or pears or both. The first meal of the day is topped off by a fresh piquet. This is a white gin, a cereal alcohol that the good people of Liège love to drink. Our suitcases were unpacked. We rushed off to enjoy a panoramic view of Liège from the citadel. What a wonderful sight it is, a city with a river flowing through it. The river muse symbolizes Liège's lyrical dimension. Liège, spawned by the river muse, from its creation in the 8th century, is steeped in the influence of this body of water. This giant waterway has long been the driving force behind the city's trade and its relation to the entire world. We decided to take a closer look at the River Muse spanned by several bridges. The walkways created on the banks are enjoyable to travel, both by foot and by bike. The longest bridge is the Arches Bridge, which was first built in the 11th century. The most recent is the Liège Bridge, a magnificent stayed girder structure. But for me, the most wonderful is the Frenier Bridge. It was built in 1905 World Exhibition, which was held at this very spot. Liège University's Zoology Institute is located near an amphitheater, which is also a wharf. It houses two museums. First of all, the Science Museum, then the Zoology Museum, which treasures over 72 whole skeletons, including an 18-meter-long whale and an aquarium. It's the largest aquarium in Belgium and one of the most popular destinations for tourists. We could see how busy the traffic is on the river. There is a seemingly never-ending stream of heavy barges drifting gently by. Did you know that Liège has an autonomous port that is the second busiest inland port in Europe, after Duisburg in Germany and ahead of Paris? The river is also a popular place with yachting enthusiasts. The yachts are accommodated in an attractive marina with its own port authority. There is a steel arch supporting a magnificent sculpture of a diver created by Jan Kalavici. And there are also many opportunities for one-hour mini-cruises throughout Liège. As we continue to stroll along the water's edge, we came across a large building that seems to be moored alongside the River Views, the Congress Hall. This venue and the large exhibition halls located further along the river, upstream from the famous Albert Canal, are extremely valuable tools for promoting the city's economic development. The Bouvry Park is home to the modern contemporary art museum with its print room. We were both surprised and delighted to discover the works of a lot of famous painters like Picasso, Gauguin, Chagall, and Monet. On our way back to the city, we went through a tiny park divided by two terraces featuring four attractive statues. One depicts a naked tamer supporting a bull. The people of Liège call this work by the sculptor Léon Mignon, Joseph et la Tarou, Joseph and the Bull, which is often visited by students. We made our way back to the hotel through large boulevards that follow the route as to what used to be the branch of the River Meuse. My heart was in it, so we decided to go out again to discover Liège as it gets all dialed up to display its jewels of light. It was a wonderful sight.